first of all, I must say, I am quite overwhelmed having seen all this and, 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 and heard all this. Uh, somebody had said, how many um, journalists have the honor of having an, an entire archive made on them? Um, there are very few, and I've been honored that uh, um, Mala has chosen me because mostly uh, when you get this honor, it's posthumous, but I am still around to be able to reflect and to say something on what I have, uh, what I, uh, what I have seen, and uh, and 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 to try and try and uh, and fill in uh, fill in something. Uh, you mentioned that I am an, an horse that that immediately starts performing uh, when the red light is on. But uh, this is not always quite um, quite true. I, uh, th there were a couple of points that I wanted uh, uh, to make that maybe one can also see the, these are 40 years of working life and uh, the bits that I um, have done with great amount of uh, courage was sure that was required. Uh, a lot of fighting was required to uh, fighting for, for getting my way, for putting my foot down, for insisting that what Malle refers to and what I used to call also for myself that I am the voice of the South. Um, that that this particular film should be made and it should be made by me and by nobody else and I should do the narration in German television we only do voiceover uh, we don't do subtitles that this narration should be my voice because my voice my voice is me as well and they wanted to take away my voice so I mean it has been a long uh, um, uphill uh, struggle but I've had a lot of colleagues who have also uh, been very supportive. And without that, and without the public uh, television, I wouldn't have been able to, to do what I have been, uh, what I have done. And um, um, and like all public, um, public television, uh, it is normally um, that is that is the fate of what happens uh, that it goes on to television and you have one rerun and then it disappears forever and ever into into the vaults and, in, and disappears into the archives and gathers uh, uh, dust on the on the shelves and uh, this has also always been my my uh, plea. Or, or my my campaign uh, that we have to open up the archives for because for a great extent I was using archive material myself for the films but this was due to a necessity and a contingency because uh, my television station didn't want to send me to India they said we have a correspondent there so you know don't, don't go to Bangladesh I mean you know for all sorts of uh, Reasons. Okay, I did go to to Bangladesh, but every everything was uh, every every um, um, film was 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 a struggle. Now I'm not saying this is unique for me. Uh, anybody in this business knows it's it's highly uh, competitive, but it is also unique in the sense that at the time that I was really working, which was in the 60s and the 70s. I was really the the one person from from India. There were two others, um, uh, but they were working in a different um, um, uh, a media. It was really something very rare. And in my station, I was the only one. So um, the 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 chance to bring in the uh, the the subjects that are uh, that 
that were at that state and still are very much um, very much part uh, part of me like uh, um, uh, uh, dealing with the um, colonialization with cultural imperialism uh, with against eurocentrism um, that I could do these uh, films and by the sheer presence of my self bring in the change the shift of focus so that you could open up open up the way of seeing a thing you could open up and contextualize it it was hugely difficult Volker it was hugely difficult to do it because the complex the issues in India are so so mm. complex and if you want to get that uh, uh, just yeah. alone the Ayodhya story is so so complex that and this also now in a foreign uh, language. I'm not a native German speaker, but um, for a German audience to put it into encapsulate it also into this time and the format, it it has been. Uh, it uh, let's say it wasn't without effort, but I mean that's why we're in the game. I'm I'm loved my job and. Um, when it was over, there have been, as in all, uh, I was, I, I thought that it would be like the rest of the television um, journalists or filmmakers working for television, that this is sick transit Gloria Mundi. That's the way of the world. It just goes by. And there suddenly came Marla and there was this superb, superb uh, um, archive. Uh, the fifth wall, which is not only me, but it goes beyond me. So I can, I become a prototype and of that I'm very proud for something that I hope will follow, uh, can be followed up and uh, would become um, like uh, in, in Germany, there's a place where, where uh, writers their manuscripts and all their works go to its place called Marbach. There's one uh, um, sort of big archive there. And I hope that in this digital space, the fifth wall becomes a prototype for so many other uh, important uh, television works that one can do. And I think at this stage, I'm just quite exhausted, but I once more wanted to really um, express my deep gratitude to Merle for uh, for having had the patience for four years and for having developed this archive that has, in a way, immortalized me. Wow! <laughs> so, it was my pleasure, Maria. And thank you all from 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 the my dearest friend uh, Deepa, whose whose films. I had the honor to uh, having also then uh, helped in having them shown in uh, in German television that I could then do the German uh, translation of it. So I became a part part of it, and I uh, um, yeah. I did those gladly, and uh, and I'm also very thankful for the long friendship that we've had with you, Madhu. Also, you started off at that that. Uh, um, when I was working on the Kasauli art camp uh, on this feminist theater workshop. The only film where I could, uh, could have a performer's role is that film. Yeah. <laughs> I was immortalized in that film. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> uh, there is so much to say, but so much, so much has been said already that, that I, uh, I, 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 that I took a stand, let's say. I took a stand and I think it paid off in the end. I mean, the costs were high for me on various levels, but then everybody's life has that kind of thing. The breaks are there. And I'm so glad. And just one more thing I'll tell you. Uh, Mala has been chasing me and pestering me for, for many, many years that she wanted to do a film portrait on me. And I've always resisted that. And I'm glad I did because a film portrait would never have had the enormous... Uh, uh, um, potentials and the the, the scope uh, of uh, 
and, and uh, uh, the scope of the fifth wall. So uh, I'm glad I resisted. And so she had to think up something new and then she, she did and that she can. <laughs> She's also glad that you uh, resisted so that she could come up with yet another way of uh, doing documentary culture other than writing novels.